Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about my next development, phase number two, bar prefix and assembly prefix. When we are working in large scale projects, we divide the project into different phases so that it will be easy for us to manage. One common issue is we need to add the phase number manually to all the members and parts. So it will be very time consuming. That's what I have come up with an idea to help you. Let's see the demo of this application. You can see the grid labels here. This is one, two that indicates uh, the phase number. And all these members are in phase 15, 23, 45 and 46. Let me just show the phase manager. Here you can see. Now I'm going to run this application. When I run this application, it will automatically add phase number. For example, this member belongs to phase two. So it will add phase number to part prefix. I'm selecting an another member. This belongs to phase six. It will add number to part prefix and assembly prefix. Let's do it through this application. I'm selecting all the members and plates. Selecting the part prefix and add face number. It's done. I'm going to pick some random members to check this. 23. This is six. That's two. So here you can see the application has added. The now, when you choose the start number, there are different formats here. The first option is one. That means it will give the start number to all the members one, which is the default. But when I choose one zero one, the member belongs to phase one will get 101. The member belongs to phase two will get 201 and uh, phase three will get 301 and so on. Let's see this. Again, let me check uh, randomly. This member belongs to phase seven. This is phase four. And the next format is 1001. The start number is 5001 for phase 5. And for phase 1, it is 1001. And for phase 8, it is 8001. Of course, uh, this phase number is 45, so it will give the number is 45001. And you also have five digits and the next one is custom option the custom options what exactly it does the number you type it here that becomes uh, the start number for all the faces for example let me take uh, 1001 and before i do that let me clear the numbers first it will be very easy for you to delete and go back to the default uh, part prefix and start number when you click this delete face number So it is back to default. Now I'm going to run once again for the custom option, add face number. This member is phase seven, but you can see the start number is 1001. So what about if I said something, uh, this is for the demo. I set the start number as uh, 3001 and select all the member and add phase number. So you can see all the members start number is 3001. Now with this applications, so you don't have to do it manually. It's just a matter of a click. And as you have seen how fast you can update this information, this will be a huge time saver for you. And the another advantage of using this application is, let me go back to default option.
and run the phase number and perform numbering. Let me show you how this is going to help you in numbering the objects. This is the organizer. I'm selecting only the base plates in the model. This plate belongs to phase one, so it is 1P1. And uh, the next plate is 2P1 and 3P and 4P1. So that is the advantage of uh, adding the phase number to part prefix rather than uh, adding this template value in advanced options, which I don't prefer. And uh, we are not going to talk about that subject now. So let's uh, move on. I will create the report and show you. If I go to drawings and reports and reports, I'll take the part list and create from selected. So here is the report. So 1P1, there are eight plates and 2P1, there are eight plates. So this is what we wanted to say. I mean to say this is how exactly we want to control the numbering system if the project is divided into different phases. If you have any specific question about this application, feel free to get in touch with me and thank you for watching this video.